An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he says to the boy. It's a terrible fight and it's between two wolves. One is evil. He is angry, envious, full of sorrow, does regret, greed, is arrogant, self-pity, full of guilt, resentment, and ego. The other is good, is full of joy and peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, empathy, love. The same fight is going on inside and inside everyone. The grandfather thought about it for a minute and asked his grandfather, the grandson thought about it for a minute and asked his grandfather, who or which wolf will win? And the old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Inspire Word Cafe. We're gonna do things a little bit different tonight. That's all you'll hear from me because I want you to enjoy the Barefoot Caravan. There are lines in the sky that are telling me the earth is crying, crying like lines of dried up tears running down from her eyes. While far from the hills, they're telling me her heart is burning, burning. Disaster spills, poison wells, why aren't we learning? Next generation, new revelation, here we are getting you hold that solution, calling on you to break the fall. Next generation, new revelation. Here we are giving you the call. A new revolution, you hold that solution, calling on you to break the fall. Echoes unheard from the void beneath the earth. Tell me what's it really worth as her. Barefoot Caravan. We are grateful to be here. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone at home. And this next song is called Alawali. It's a song from Africa, and the meaning is honoring women in our roles, in our families, in our life. So if you have someone at home with you right now, give them a nice big hug. This song is called Alawali.
this is a beautiful uh, privilege to be here today. And thank you so much to the viewers at home for watching and supporting local art, right? Poetry, music, it's a beautiful thing. Our next song is going to be uh, Dans la Terre. And again, it, in, in French, it means um, in the earth of the earth. It's called Dans la Terre. This is our newest song. It's called Sacred Fire. Um, so just enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's so fun.
that song short. Thank you. I want to introduce you to my, our little friend Tink um, from a good friend of mine, Carla, who's in the audience. Thank you so much for your love and support. And Shasta, and this is Tink. So if you see her around um, Kelowna riding around behind a bike, say hi to Carla. <laughs> We're joined here with Barefoot Caravan. Thank you guys. Well, two members of Barefoot Caravan. The other two have been banished to the, the crowd. You guys are wonderful. We really love you and appreciate you. We just don't have enough space on our stage. So, you know, it's what happens when you bring a four-piece in. But weren't they amazing, you guys? Barefoot Caravan, right? Let's give it up for Barefoot Caravan. You guys were awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, some really intense questions and then get gradually more intense. So I hope you're ready. Steve's taking deep breaths. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how you guys got started doing music. Okay, so I've been playing, we've been playing together in, in the project Bear for Caravan for probably about three and a half years. And um, kind of, yeah, basically our project band members evolve and change and grow. So Steve joined us three and a half years ago with the stand-up bass. And before that, I was working a lot in the schools um, really interested and curious about indigenous music and world music and doing more percussion and rhythm and dance programs with children in schools and I wanted to expand and go into a band type performance setting and there we go. That's how we started. Cool. And so you guys are both musicians though and have been playing music for a long time. When did you guys start playing music? Oh well, yeah, I started playing music when I was about 12 or so and yeah, just always loved it and here I am. And you always did stand-up bass? That seems like a really, like, what's the biggest <laughs> instrument I can <laughs> carry a around? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, um, I started on guitar, okay. and then when I moved to the Okanagan from, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, I started on the guitar, and then when I moved to the Okanagan, I joined a band that couldn't find a bass player, so I started playing bass. Nice. And awesome. then three and a half years ago, I started playing stand-up bass, because I thought it was just a little bit more of a challenge, and more fun for the kids when we play for kids' shows. Cool, sweet, and what about you? Um, well, with the stand-up bass, we kind of want to go more, more with an acoustic feel, because our right. band is like strong uh, root rhythms like reggae, soca, and, mm -hmm. and gypsy feeling, so we, that was another reason too, right? It is, and it's yeah. And it's a unique, a beautiful instrument. It is, yeah. Um, my background is I've studied dance, all forms of dance, from African dance to modern contemporary, and uh, hand drumming and percussion, so that's cool. my background in the arts. Yeah, I could tell you had really good rhythm. Thanks. People started clapping, and I was like, I'm gonna abstain from this clapping, because I will throw the entire show off. So oh. I just kept my clapping to myself. <laughs> it I, believe, was, I believe everyone has rhythm. That's, I have a strong belief in that. Well, we'll work on it. We'll go okay. on a trip and yes, you'll help you and I me. are going to go mm -hmm. on an adventure together, yeah, right? Totally. Yeah, totally. Should we well, invite Raul, maybe? Mm -mm, we'll the, talk about that okay, after, right. okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, now, to get into the really intense questions, you guys, I hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be? Okay, on the count of three, we're both going to say what vegetable we would be. Okay, uh -oh. ready? It's a test. Okay, because I totally think I know which one you'd be. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, ready. But you're going to say yours too. Okay, all together. Go for it. <laughs> like, can the audience count to three and we'll both say our vegetable? Okay, ready? Here we go. One, uh, two, three. Eggplant. Oh, hey! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know what's awesome? I think that's not even planned. That was amazing. That was amazing. I think that's our most commonly said vegetable. So I think really? in general, we have a lot of weirdos who come through Inspired Word Cafe and they think they're bulbous purple vegetables. Well, when we're on, we tour a lot and we're on the road, um, we, we buy groceries to conserve money, right? And right. So we cook for each other. We're, sometimes we're on the road, sometimes five weeks, um, two weeks, three weeks. And we all take turns to cook. And Steve is an amazing cook. He makes this eggplant lasagna. Ooh. You should post it on our website page. It's, it's my wife's recipe okay. oh, that, so you need that I hijacked. Right. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite dishes. But so it's different every time. So it's not really following a recipe. It's kind of following guidelines. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's phenomenal. I love it. Nice. So you guys are big. So you would be them because you love to consume them. So you're cannibals is what you're telling us. Yes. Be aware, you guys. Take a buddy to your car after the show, okay? All right. <laughs> Who wants to be an eggplant? <laughs> what is your idea of the perfect way to pass time? I don't know. Um, it's a really tough one, I know. It is. It's, it's difficult. <laughs> it has to be perfect. Campfires. I, yeah, campfires yeah. and mm. music. Yeah, I... Love playing with my kid. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, campfires, music, reading, camping, being outside. Totally. Cool. Yeah. I like that burning stuff is the first option for you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We great. could definitely <laughs> hang out. Didn't you hear that last song? Yeah, I know. Sacred. I'm getting the vibe you're throwing down, and I really, really appreciate it. Okay, now, this one, I think I already know your answer, but we'll see. If you were stranded on an island, and you had to choose to be stranded with either myself or Rawl, who would you choose? Oh, man. I know. This is probably the toughest of all questions. Well, have I already gone on that trip with you? And I don't know. Experienced the dark zone? I don't know what's happened yet. Okay. <laughs> so if I've already done that, I'd probably go hang out with Raul. Oh, really? No, yeah. You would, you would choose um, that over done, the fun? Am I off the show now? <laughs> yeah. And I we'll just so. cut this part out. I think so. Because, well, um, we could do uh, spoken word poetry in the sand, right? I'm also and a spoken we, word poet. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, uh -huh. am I in trouble here? <laughs> like hardcore I, feminism, man. I wouldn't leave man. you behind, Aaron. Really? I'm just not allowed to do it on Shaw TV, that's all. Okay, well. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't leave you behind. You won't? Okay. Good, no, thank you're, you. You're, we're, we're good. Okay, okay. good. So I'm, I'm like yeah. the second best option. I love you, Raul. That's great. Most people choose Raul because he would be really good to eat. That's what people say. Oh, he's They're an like, eggplant. He has a lot of extra meat, so he would keep me alive for three weeks. That's what people say. It's wonderful. We can paint him purple. There we go. But he wears a lot of purple. <laughs> yeah, purple's his favorite color, man. <laughs> Seriously, it is. Look, he's just giggling like a little one over there. He's like, oh, come on. Uh, give him a little green hat. Okay, ready? Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs? Yeah, dogs. Dogs? You guys are dog people? Oh, I'm a cat person. Do you, uh, cats are better because you don't really have to do anything for them. Right? Yeah. Well, you got to feed them and cuddle them and stuff. They're yeah. very independent, though. My cat just hunts his own food and brings me... He likes to eat the heads off of things, and then he just brings me the body, which is really sweet. You know what? If you do have a mice problem, cats are great. Because mm -hmm. then you don't have to catch your own yeah. mice, and that's kind of convenient. Yeah. But dogs, yeah. Dogs are a little bit more loyal. If you're yes. to shrink to be two inches tall, your cat would probably eat you. Yeah, or uh, toy uh, with and, you. And leave your head with your husband. Yeah. Good point. Steve. No, he would eat my head and then yeah. give the body to my husband, well, right? He knows. Well. Eat the brain first, you guys. Okay, and now the final question that determines whether we can be friends or not. Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh, Star Wars. Uh-oh. We've got ooing and on well, from the audience. I'm not a big sci-fi person at all. Well, He's you uh-oh. Uh-oh. But take it back. Take I it back. think I do have all the Star Wars series on old VHS at home, which I've watched movie marathons a couple times. So like four, five, six, you mean Star Wars? Like yeah. the, mm -hmm. and it's all in the VHS, like yeah. it's the old school. Four, four five, six. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> four, five, six, well, whatever. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> but I think I would say Star Wars, I guess. Yeah, all right, we're all yeah. best friends. Yay, Yay, they passed the test. Four, five, six, why does it? Because that's yes, what know, he's, yes, and then the he started, yeah, he started at four, five, six. Okay, anyways, no more nerding out. This could go on forever. Where can people find more of your music? Do you guys have a website? Yes, so yes. Barefoot Caravan CA, or you can find us on Facebook. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. So barefootcaravan.ca. And we are Inspired Word Cafe. You can find us at inspiredwordcafe.com. Thank you guys again for coming out and Thank sharing you your so wonderful much. music and being subjected to this amazing interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> and have a wonderful Thank night, you. you guys. Thank you.